I'll try to present how the mind works, how we usually receive data, process it and make decisions. First, for example, you are seeing something through your eye. You receive information through five senses, not only through the eye, through ears, through smell, through touch, through taste. You receive information. I am taking the example of I. First, you see something. Well, let us take the example of this moment. You are seeing me. You are seeing me. Immediately the file goes to a space called Chakshu. It is just like a DSP, digital signal processor. Whatever you are seeing through the eye, it is converted as bio signal just like a digital signal, whatever you are seeing through the eyes is converted into a signal and that file moves to a space called Chitta, in Sanskrit we call it as Chitta, it is just like memory, the process of identification starts, for example if you are seeing me, seeing this scene, the whole file goes to DSP, Chakshu, the DSP, the whole file is converted into a bio signal file. It moves to Chitta, memory. In memory, your memory starts analyzing, this is not this, this is not this, this is not this. The elimination process happens in memory. First your Chitta says, your memory says, this is not a stone, this is not a tree, this is not an animal. The process of elimination happens in memory. Next, this is it, the identification happens in mind, manas. In mind, you start identifying, this is a human being, he is here to give a lecture, he is a yoga teacher, you start identifying. Then the file goes, file moves to the space what I call ego. The decision making, in ego you start thinking what way I am connected to this person or this situation. If your past experiences with other yoga teachers, if it is nice, beautiful, you decide to sit and listen. If your past experiences are not good, if you felt, oh this is not earth, I felt very bored that time, last time I came and attended. But I didn't feel any benefit. If you feel negative, you decide, let's move. This is not the space, this is not the place for me to sit. Ego decides based on your past experiences. This is the way your mind functions. First, uh, I receive the data. It goes to DSP where the whole file is converted into bio signal. The signal goes to memory. In memory, the, this is not the elimination process starts. Then the whole file goes to mind. Identification happens. After that, what I have to do, what way I am supposed to respond, happens at the ego level. Then you make the decision. Your body executes the decision. This is the way decisions are made. Now, important thing which we need to understand, at some level the decision is taken unconsciously. If the process happens like this in a straightforward way, you will not have any problem. Things will go really smooth in your life. Everything will be clear, straight. But always this process does not happen in this straightforward way. Sometimes things start happening in unconscious way. For example, if you are hurt or disturbed by somebody who was wearing blue dress, blue color cloth, the moment you see me, unconsciously this, that memory will be awakened. You can see in your life. If you are hurt or disturbed in a particular place or a uh, person who is wearing particular color dress, next time when you come to that place, even if that person is not there, or next time when you see a person who is wearing that same color cloth, 
even in, even if you know logically or consciously this person or this place is nothing to do with my past experience you will undergo the same old low mood you will have that same memory again in your mind you will again have the same experience this is what i call samskara means engraved memory here in this space we have all these engraved memories samskaras these engraved memories distort or disturb your decision making capacity see logically sometime the whole process actually this process is logical which happens consciously straight forward process from i to mind it's a straight forward process it is just logical process this is the space where politics happens this is the space where politics happens this is the space where logical things are moving logically this is the space where the past memories or the engrams are sitting and you don't even know what decisions you are making just because you have been hurt by somebody who was wearing blue dress blue color cloth the moment you see me that same mood will be awakened in you and you will decide not to sit the feeling of uncomfort the feeling of being suffocated as an uncomfortable feeling will start somehow for no reason you will feel like i think this is not for me you will not have patience or intelligence to wait let me give you one more small example logically or consciously if you analyze all of you know smoking is injurious to health from this part to this part from i to mind throughout this process you know smoking is injurious to health according to the data collected by your senses but suddenly at one point you decide to smoke beyond your consciousness beyond your logic this is the spot where the unconscious engrams are sitting unconscious samskaras are sitting and suddenly even though you know consciously or logically smoking is injurious to health when the file moves at this spot when the file takes a quantum leap at this spot you just decide to smoke you decide let me smoke some memory or some experience which you had with the past you must have felt little relaxed when you smoked or you must have felt like a hero you must have felt little you are doing something which you wanted to do some satisfaction some engram is associated with that smoking habit so suddenly because of these engrams you decide to smoke even if you know consciously the smoking is injurious to your health same way many times in your life even if you know consciously what is right simply unconsciously you decide because of the engrams your life is under the control of unconscious engrams it is not under your control you may be thinking you are taking all the decisions but simply your unconscious engrams are taking the decisions the other day i went to one of my friends house there i saw a beautiful one liner in the living room i am the boss of this house i have my wife's permission to say so <laughs> <laughs> same way you may be thinking you are you are a boss but your unconscious engrams are the lead, they are only leading you they are only guiding you as long as you are caught by your unconscious engrams unconscious samskaras you can never achieve the state of a leader you may achieve the status of a leader with a lot of struggle suffering one more thing if you sit in the cha- leader's chair with a lot of struggle and suffering you will tend to create the same struggle and suffering for your subordinates